You're still watching the breakfast show on TV. It's time to take a look at happenings in the very exciting world of sports. We'll start with football and the Premier League, where Arsenal Football Club enhanced their chances of a top four place in the Premier League with a 4 2 victory away at Stamford Bridge. The Gunners opened scoring from Eddie Nketia with an error from the defensive line of Chelsea Football Club in the early minutes of the encounter before Chelsea equalised. It was Nketia who got a brace for Arsenal, Bukayo Saka and Emile Spitz Rowe were also on the score sheet as Arsenal secured the maximum three points to enhance their top four chances and finish in the Champions League sports. The Gunners are now joint on points with Tottenham Hotspur as um, they bid to qualify for the UEFA Champions League. In other matches, it was Manchester City who secured a 3-0 victory against Brighton Football Club and it ended at Everton Leicester City playing a one all draw. Newcastle United at Tyneside beat Crystal Palace by a long goal. Now, Koyiru, a sports journalist, joins me on the show as we take a look at the Premier League top four, that is the title race, and also battle for Champions League sport. Well, Koyiru, it's nice to have you on the breakfast show. Let's take a look at them, the race for the top four and the title. Let's start with the title. Manchester City are back on the summit, a 3-0 victory against Brighton Football Club. Yeah, um, can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So, um, we are talking about the top four. Um, it's good to, I actually feel, as I've said a few times, that um, the top, um, the league title is Man City's to lose. And you no know, things are kind of um, shaping up. And um, Arsenal beating Chelsea yesterday, you know, throws, um, changes the dynamics of things. Because now I'm thinking, can Arsenal actually get that top four um, position? Because at some point it was looking like um, it was um, going to be impossible. But right now, if Tottenham um, snoozes, they would probably lose that um, spot to Arsenal. Now, you talked about if Tottenham loses, but let's take a look at the chances and the, the squad uh, depth for both teams. Um, some of the opinion that with um, Son and Harry Kane, expect something from Tottenham Hotspur, but Arsenal don't have that depth. Thomas Partey ruled out because of injury. Um, reports say he has returned to training, but that can't you know, be confirmed authoritatively. Kylian Tierney ruled out till the end of the season, which shows that um, Arsenal um, don't have the depth needed to finish in the top four. They are up, they are shots up front when it comes to strikers. And um, for their not London rivals, Tottenham, this seems to be an opportunity on paper for them to capitalize on the Gunners' weaknesses. Mm. Oh, so I understand where you're coming from, but I feel um, just like yesterday, we didn't really expect Arsenal to like grind out the result yesterday. But we look at how it went. Uh, they ended first, which automatically tells you that. Anything can happen. But then, when you talk about squad depth and the momentum, it seems, seems to be with um, um, sports because, you know, Harry Kane and um, Son, you know, that deadly combo, they can really, you know, take anyone to the cleaners, mm. and especially with that, um, their new player, um, what's his name now, Kulusevsky, who is really, like, on top form at the moment. But things look um, dicey, and I love it. You know, that's why it's the Premier League, and it's the best league in the world. Well, let's talk about the title two race. Manchester City, Pep Guardiola, Liverpool, just a point separating these two teams. Fortunately, unfortunately, whichever way you want to look at it, Koyiru and them, we would want your opinion on this. Liverpool have the opportunity of winning four trophies. The Carabao Cup is settled. They are looking at the FA Cup, the Champions League, and the Premier League. And then um, you have Manchester City also, who are still in the hunt for the Champions League trophy and the Premier League title. Do you think this will be some form of distraction for Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool Football Club? Of course. Um, right now, um, Liverpool is chasing immortality. 
Hmm. You get that quadruple and every all of them become immortal, really. And um, I feel it's going to be a distraction. At some point, club will probably have to um, choose where it thinks is a uh, priority. Well, for the FA Cup, he only needs to win one game to um, lift the trophy. And then they are playing against Chelsea, which they are played against in the Carabao Cup final. And, you know, we all know how that ended. And I feel Chelsea would want to end the season on the high. I personally think Chelsea may win the FA Cup. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being sentimental or something. Okay. <laughs> but then, actually, yeah. Actually, I feel Liverpool can actually concentrate on the Champions League it's very feasible, and as well, the Premier League. Remember, it's um, they have um, six games to go, and although it looks on paper, it looks like City has the easier um, set of fixtures. But then, imagine Liverpool. Liverpool actually that took a Man, Man United to the cleaner. So, which tells you that Liverpool probably has what it takes. So, Man City would have to be very careful. They have to be very clinical and not drop any point because if they do. Liverpool will just probably nick it. In the championship, the Cottagers, Fulham Football Club, are back to the Premier League. And we know how juicy, you know, the champions, the championship race is. Um, taking a look at them, um, what to expect in the Premier League next season. Um, what's your take on um, the Cottagers come back to the Premier League? You know, Chelsea, we, I'm um, sorry, now Fulham, Fulham is one of those teams that we all feel should be a Premier League team. And it's good to see them back, especially with their top goal stri um, striker. Uh, what's his name now? Mitrovic. Um, Mitrovic. He has um, scored 40 goals and he probably has, he has um, three more games to increase that record. You know, the previous um, record for the top goal scorer in the championship 42? is um, 32. Yes. And now he has exceeded that by eight goals and... I feel in the next three games, you know, they are more relaxed and um, they really do not have much to um, aim for, except probably winning the championship. Which, but then the most important thing is getting the promotion at which they have gotten. So I think Mitrovic may just get one or two more goals and you know extend that record, and that record will stay for a while. So it's good to see Fulham back in the league. I can't wait to see the other two teams that would join them, and let's see how it goes. All right, Koyoro, it's time to let you go. But quickly, in 10 seconds, the top four in the Premier League at the end of the season, your prediction. Okay, top two, of course, is between um, City and um, Liverpool. Okay. I feel Chelsea will go to the top, to the third spot. Okay. So that fourth spot is going to be between Arsenal and... Stick out oh, your neck. Stick out your neck. Something, something tells me that... That's not with Nikki. All right. Kisley Koyero, sports journalist. Many thanks for joining us on the Breakfast Show. And um, he says City, Liverpool, Chelsea, and Arsenal.